हेलो एवरीवन समटाइम्स फॉर योर वू कॉमर्स स्टोर यू वांट टू सेंड वन ईमेल और मे बी मल्टीपल ई मेल डिपेंड ऑन योर सिचुएशन बेस्ड ऑन द ऑर्डर प्लेस्ड बाय द कस्टमर सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट इन टूडे इज वीडियो प्रेजेंट्स दिस यूज केस अ इवेंट इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय माई क्लाइंट्स दे वॉन्ट टू सेंड ई मेल्स एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स मे बी जस्ट आफ्टर द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर देन मे बी टू डेज बिफोर द इवेंट वन डे बिफोर द इवेंट दैट ई मेल विल कंटेन ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द इवेंट इंक्लूडिंग द लिंक टू ज्वाइन द मीटिंग सो हाउ टू अचीव दैट देर इज नो डायरेक्ट वे टू अचीव इट एंड ऑब्वियसली लाइक द वे वी एड अदर फंक्शनैलिटी ऑन अवर वू कॉमर्स वेबसाइट और वर्ल्ड प्रेस वेबसाइट we are going to add this functionality also with the help of one plugin the plugin is known as automate woo so what i have done i have installed automate woo on this website and rather than wasting your time on the installation of the plugin i will simply take you to the dashboard of the website where i'll show you how it is going to work so here is the dashboard of the website first change that you will see after installing automate woo is that automate woo menu is now available in our dashboards menu so here you can find it it's here see the automate woo is available here and it has a sub menu as well what you can find in the sub menu what's important for us important for us is workflow so we will create a workflow and let's click on workflow to see what it does so you can see there is already one workflow but let's just click on add workflow button here you can see this button let's click on add workflow and let's see what options does it have so first of all we need to set a title for our automation whatever you want to do fine we will give a title later but these are the three important thing first thing is what should cause that event to take place then what are the rules that must match and finally what's the action that you want to take so in this case as soon as somebody placed an order and their order is completed that's a trigger we want to check whether that particular order is for a particular product or not so we will check under the rules and finally we will send an email via the action so let's see if these three things are available or not so for the trigger i will select trigger see you can see there are so many triggers i will see order completed only when order is completed at that time we have to do something but you can see there are so many options and i believe you can explore it as per your requirement i also want to ensure that the order is completed so before this particular workflow is about to run i want to recheck it whether the order is really completed or not finally comes the rules so i will add a new rule group and i want to see if that order has a particular item or not so here are order items you can see there are so many options available i want to see whether a particular item is available or not in the order so i will click on that order item finally i will say whether the item is included or not and then i will search for the product so product is in my case i know about the product in your case you know about the product so you have to search for the product so in my case it's uh, industrial talk so i'll search for the product obviously you have to write the three letters and you can then select the correct product so it's here the rule is now matching i can add one more rule group or i can add and or or conditions depend on my complexity of the rules finally comes the action part so what do i want to do once these conditions are match i want to send an email so when i click on add action you can see there are options send email send plain text send raw html customer order many things are available so i'll say send an email in let us say raw html what does raw html do it allow me to write html 
So obviously when we are sending emails, it asks to whom. So for that, we have many variables listed here. So one of the variables that I am looking for is customer email. Correct. So I will check for that email in this variable list. And this is the email that I want to, this is the variable that I want to use. So I will click here. I'll click on this and then it will show me how to write that variable. So it's, it should be written like this. I can copy it to clipboard and then finally I will paste it here. Okay. Then to whom you want to get the reply for that you can type a name here. So let us say this is the email address. It can be any email address. So I don't want to write it here right now, but you can write it. So what will happen in that case? Customer can reply to a different email address. Finally comes email subject. I can write the email subject, whatever it is. And then I will write a proper mail body that and that too I can write in HTML. For example, I will write a paragraph saying hello and then ending the paragraph. Good thing is that after this, I can actually type use customer name. For that, again, I need to look at the variables list and there is a customer full name. I don't know how to write it, so I'll take its help. I'll click on it and then it will show me if I want to use customer full name, what should I do? Okay, so I will come here and I will write the name. This is how I will write my complete message. Okay, so obviously with the help of HTML, the message will look really nice. And once done, uh, what I will do, I will save it. But let's see what are the type of action. So I didn't add the title, so let me add a title. So what's the type of action? It's automatic or manual. I want to run it automatically, correct? The status is active, fine. But what is the timing? So that's also an important thing. So if I want to send this immediately, then I will say run immediately. So as soon as the order is completed, it will check whether the order item has this particular product or not. If it is there, then it will send this message on this email address. This is what it is going to do. But what if I want to schedule it for a different time, then I can say it should be delayed by few hours, let us say one hour or let's say one days or let's say one week. So whatever you want or I can also make it fixed. Okay, so in my case, the event is coming at a particular date. Just before that date, one day before that date, I want to send that email. So let us say if date is 28th of March, in that case, I want to send my email on 27th of March. And then timing you can decide as per your choice. Finally, I will say that this is not a marketing email. It is a transactional email, correct? It's not marketing. We are just informing our customer about the order that they have placed. And optionally, if you have Google console configured or Google search console configured, then you can also add the e tracking for that Google Analytics. So right now I don't have that, so I'll not use it. Finally comes workflow order, in which order you want it to run. If you have many workflow, you can decide as per your convenience or as per your requirement. I have only this one, so I will do that. Finally, what I will do, I will now save it. Okay. So I am going to save it and I know it will run only on this particular date. So it is saved. If now I want to go to, if now I go to workflows, what will happen? It will show me all the workflows which are scheduled. And you can see one workflow that has already run because it was set to run immediately. So it has already run. I can go to this. I would like to show you what we did in order to set this workflow. So you see a proper name, meaningful name, trigger, rule, finally action. And then what we did, we did run immediately. And it's a transactional email. That's all. And it has already run. I would like to show you in logs 
how it will show you in log whether it has run or not. So in run you can see this particular workflow has run when at this particular time. Okay, to whom is also given here. So I believe now you know exactly how you can send emails, custom email as per your order or as per your products to customers that too as per the timing required by your clients. So I hope this video was useful to you. If this was useful to you but you still have some questions, please write in comment and I'll try to answer all your questions for the WooCommerce or WordPress website development. Thank you very much.